Lumumba, who played under the name Harry O'Brien, made the startling claims recently ahead of a documentary lifting the lid on what he says is an underbelly of racism at Collingwood. In the film, titled Fair Game, Lumumba describes the team as a boys' club for racist and sexist jokes and accuses head coach Nathan Buckley of lacking emotional intelligence. The documentary was screened last week on ESPs in an interview with Waleed Ali on the project on Tuesday. Lumumba appeared close to Dees as he repeated the allegations. You can imagine going into your workplace and every day you're being reminded, I guess, of your oppression. When I was younger I wasn't aware of that but over time it had a compounding effect. If I were to say some of the jokes, you would be appalled, he told Ali. The Pies 2010 Premiership player also said his stand against President Eddie Maguire's 2013 racist radio joke towards Adam Goods ultimately led to his departure from the club. All of a sudden I was getting a call from Eddie, he was saying why didn't you say something? I said if you don't understand why I would be offended with this and why I would separate myself from this, why I would refuse to stay silent on this, then you know there's an issue here. Dot Lee said he believed the club should have distanced itself from Maguire after the radio incident, accusing them of inaction and ignorance for not doing so. To me that is a huge indictment on any organization if they don't know how to deal with something as simple as that. In the documentary, Herity claimed during his time at Collingwood he had been called the racist nickname Chimp. But that has been denied by coach Nathan Buckley, and no other player or club figure has confirmed they ever heard that word or other racist names. Being spoken to Lumumba. He said players at Collingwood called him Chimp, but refused to say who. Let's say, dot, I'm not prepared to isolate or single out any players by name but there were a considerable amount of players for it to be a daily occurrence. Asked by Ali if Collingwood's denials of racist attacks was misleading he replied, absolutely. When pressed by Ali on why no one associated with the club would support his claim, he said he would be surprised if a majority of the players weren't aware of the racist jokes or the nickname. You have to understand the situation players are in to speak out against a club that in many ways you feel as though you owe. It's a very difficult thing to do. It was a culture that normalized racist jokes, he said. Lumumba grew emotional when he spoke about growing up with racist taunts, and as he reflected they were still being used against him and young people to this day. You know what's heartbreaking Walid? I am seeing the same things happen to me. That happened to me when I was in primary school, playing football, that are happening to my nieces happening to my younger siblings. This traumatizes people. It affects you in a horrible way. You have to claw your humanity. You have to put the pieces of your humanity back. In a statement, the Collingwood Football Club said the entire club was committed to understanding better the experiences of players and racism, on the field or beyond the boundary. Collingwood has reached out to Heritage, and we are very keen to listen and learn from his experiences. Constructive discussions on race and cultural understanding are always welcome. The statement continued, the club has been seeking an opportunity not only to talk with Herity but to share with him the significant work Collingwood is doing to educate all of its people. Herity, as a former player, will always be welcome at Collingwood. We expect that should he return he will discover a club committed to the goal of constant betterment in all that it does.